How you doing? My name is Fred Koch. Today's exercise that we're going to discuss is something that I think is probably one of the most misunderstood exercises that I've ever seen in the gym, and that's how to train the rear deltoids. First of all, at the science of training, we have to look at what the rear deltoids do. The rear deltoids, because they're attached to the scapula and the arm, move the elbow back when the arm is above parallel. So in other words, when the arm is above parallel, the rear deltoids move this part of the bone or the elbow back. Now a lot of guys, the mistake that they make is they want to move the arm back in a straight line, but as soon as the arm bone goes below parallel, you start to work the back muscle. And we'll get more into this later. The other thing is, if you look at any muscle chart about the rear deltoid, we want to set the muscle up in a straight line. So that depends on how we set the hand up. So if we look over here at the hand, zoom action, if we look at the hand, the hand has to be with the thumb pointed towards me. So in other words, that sets the whole arm up in a straight line so that we can work the rear deltoid. So again, keep in mind, what we're going to be doing and talking about today is the rear deltoid, and it moves the arm back when the elbow is above parallel. And you'll see that in all the exercises that we There's so many really good books out now on muscles and bodybuilding. What I tell my students to be careful of is even though the artwork is really good, you have to really be careful of the form that they show you in the book. As you can see here, really great picture, but then when you look at the movement that they show you, the elbows are below parallel. So really the movement is incorrect even though the picture is really pretty. Here's two more examples of rear deltoid exercises where that you can look at really clearly that the cables on the elbows are in the wrong position. Again, beautiful artwork, really cool, but the elbows are just not in the right position to hit the rear deltoids properly. So again, Beware, beware of what you're looking at and try to understand how important it is how the muscle actually works that you're trying to develop. 